Do you think it's important to have uh, something when you guys get back on the court or the NBA, you know, I just watched the Quibi Donald Sterling documentary where they were, you know, the Clippers wore their jerseys inside out and then put them at half court. I mean, do you think we're going to see these kind of movements when sports come back? Yes, I definitely do. Because I think, you know, our platform is one that a lot of people pay attention to. And I think it is a place where we can, you know, reach a lot of people. So I definitely expect it on the NBA's and in our end and just trying to work towards what that looks like for all of us collectively, or if that's just like on a team basis. Yeah. And I was going to ask you also, when we're thinking about things you can do to, to make a change outside of sports or having a larger social spotlight, I want to know, because to me, it, sometimes it seems easy. I can rattle off a dozen different pieces of like police reform or social steps that we have to take. And then other times when I wake up, it just feels so heavy and ingrained. Mm-hmm. W- what is it? How do we change these things? What, what do you see yourself doing, even beyond basketball and having a name people know? W- what do you think the small steps are that we can do, especially for the white community? I mean, I think, you know, a lot of things that we've been talking about is just being more knowledgeable in our history in order to figure out ways to bring about real change. Because, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that we're still not exposed to or we still didn't know about. And how can we go about, you know, educating others, ourselves, and then figuring out what that next step is? Because everybody's asking, you know, what's next? What can we do? But when we look at it, we're still trying to figure that out ourselves. We know that change needs to come, but we need to figure out what different steps we have to take and what areas we need to target in order to get the ball rolling and then you know, put things in place. Yeah, because we're even talking, you know, a week after the policemen have uh, finally been arrested and, and charged with murder correctly, and, and I, I don't feel any better. And that, that's a, a, I think the problem is so much bigger than that. I mean, I expect the protest to keep going, and I don't feel, uh, I don't feel full, for lack of a better word. Yeah, definitely. I think one major issue with us is this accountability. You know, okay, we can arrest these officers, we can put them through a trial, but are they going to be held accountable for what they did and not just, you know, things just fall by the wayside, basically, because that's happened a lot. And then we're in a situation where this could be a pivotal moment to kind of change the narrative and see what things look like going forward, because people are now going to be held accountable and maybe that changes their outlook on the ways that they handle situations. So yeah. we're kind of just in a place where this is like that moment where we're going to see what happens. And, and you're just kind of holding your breath right now, but hopefully we're moving in the right direction to kind of bring about that same change. Yeah, day by day, I, I guess. I, I, I recently, mm-hmm. I hear a lot about the word ally. It's uh, most, it's about not black, especially white people. How, what do you, how do you define an ally? Yeah, I think... Just being able to share the stories that we have or if we're giving you information that we think is, you know, helpful for you, sharing it with others as well. Because the more information and the more knowledgeable that everyone is as a whole is the better that we can kind of go moving forward. Because it's a lot of, you know, history and a lot of different things that other races aren't, you know, exposed to that we are. And we can kind of help get that narrative out there and, and help them figure out what it is that we go through, how we handle things, and how they can help and assist in those moments as well. 